Welcome to Wisdom Wednesdays, where I interview my preferred vendors to learn more about the home that you own. Questions you may have that you just never asked or never even thought of. Today, I have with me Rob with Island Air, and he's gonna educate us to how to keep our air conditioner running most efficiently in our hot, humid weather here in South Alabama and Northwest Florida. Thank you, Rob, for joining me today. I know you're so busy with air conditioning in this weather. Glad to help. <laughs> Great. So many of my clients have asked, what is SEER and TUN when they're looking at their air conditioner? Can you help us understand that? Well, the SEER rating is your power consumption that it takes to operate it. So the higher the number, the more efficient it is, so you'll have less power to operate. Tonnage is the capacity you need for whatever size home you own. So they can range anywhere from one and a half ton to five tons on a residential application. So the bigger house you have, the more ton you need for your Exactly. Package. And we calculate that with what's called a manual J and we use all your windows, your insulation values to figure out what tonnage you need for your home. What are some things that my clients can do to keep their air conditioner efficient? Is there a certain temperature they keep it on? Those kind of things. The number one thing is make sure your filters are clean. I recommend changing them at least once a month. You know, and um, make sure your windows are always shut. They're not getting old, they're not leaky. You know, you wanna make sure that's all good. Rob, how frequently should you have your air conditioning system cleaned? Um, have a maintenance agreement with your HVAC company. We can, I recommend coming out twice a year to clean and maintain and test your components to make sure everything's working to its capacity and efficiency. What type of insulation is best in this climate to keep your energy efficiency up? The best insulation nowadays that we're using is a spray foam insulation, which will hold your cooling in a lot longer and your heating in the winter. It also can bring your capacities down on your HVAC, so you need less capacity to cool and heat your home. How can we protect our homes from high humidity? What, what does the air conditioner, how does it help with that? Well, you can always add a whole home dehumidifier. We can hook it up to the existing AC system, or it can be standalone. Or if your system's getting older and you want to replace it, we can go back to those higher efficiency units, which you know a lot of them, the ones we sell, have built-in dehumidification modes, so they will dehumidify and also cool. Rob, thank you so much for taking time out of your day and giving us all this great information. Island Air has helped me in my personal rental houses and my primary houses, and I know you work with a lot of builders, and I appreciate you taking the time to give my clients some wisdom about air conditioning. Uh, we don't know the intricacies and it will help, hopefully help my clients to maintain the big that big appliance of air conditioning in their home. Awesome, well thank you. Thank you for watching Wisdom Wednesday. The goal is, is to give you information you did not know about home ownership. Today Rob was real informative about our hot, humid climate and how to efficiently own a home and run your air conditioner. Do me a favor and hit like and subscribe. There is a there is a bell on the corner. If you hit that bell, you'll be alerted whenever the Wednesday wisdoms drop. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Christy Bushaw, your local area expert selling the Alabama and Florida Gulf Coast.